What's going on here with Nate's Wait and this is Cross Beats Production. So in this video I want to show you guys how to get not just the reverse uh, reverb effect but reverse delay effect and um, it can be done in Studio One really easily and quite uh, effectively and it sounds really good as well if you add it to your beats and stuff like that. So what I've done here, it's a Rhodes piano that I've got and basically what I did was created the re reverse delay effect at the start and um, then it goes into the road. So I'll just play it out to you and then I'll show you exactly how you set it up and what you do. So let's play that right now. All right, cool. So that's pretty much the effect right there. Pretty simple, easy to do, and I'll just do it from scratch. So basically what I did, I'll just delete this so it's not in the way again and um, just go through it from scratch. So pretty much you can use a preset if you want. Um, basically what I did was I put in the preset of 32 uh, ping pong. So basically it's just set onto that. Left the ping factor in the middle because what that does usually it sends things left to right. Um, I didn't want it to be like that on this particular effect. You can do it. I'm not saying not to, just um, just know that that's what it does. Um, you leave the, um, the beats at 132 and leave the offset as it is. You can set this if you want, you can put it on anything really, it doesn't matter, you don't have to use this preset, I'm just showing you how to do it. Then you put all the mix all the way to the wet, so it pretty much locks in everything that's just the wet, and it basically will sound like this without it, so I'll just put it without first. With it on. So it sounds a bit funky, kind of cool, but let's just get this effect going on. So the quickest way to get it back into your project, you don't actually have to bounce it out and put it back um, by you know using the control export thing you don't have to do this that's, that's it's a waste of time um, just go into your event page here go into mix down selection hit mix down and that creates the mix down inside of your project without having to move anywhere it just puts it into a new track and that's pretty much it so then if I play it out to you that'll be the effect on it now simple thing is because it's obviously a one note kind of thing what I would normally do is move it to the start cut it in half, delete that section. Then I have got a command on my keyboard, which is command R, which reverses it. And that's pretty much it. Then it's reversed like just like that. And just unmute the original one that you had there, take off, take off the beat delay and you've got the effect. Simple as that, pretty easy, straightforward thing to do. Doesn't take a whole lot of time and um, yeah, Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, remember to like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and hit me up in the comments if you have any questions. But otherwise, uh, peace out. Catch you on the next one.